Hey everyone, welcome back. So today's topic, um, it can be a tricky one actually. Um, it is manipulation. You see, we've all encountered it at some point in our life. Those situations where someone seems to be subtly influencing us in a way that benefits them, but not necessarily us. So how do we spot the signs and take back control? Let's look at some of the red flags that might indicate that you're being manipulated. And how do you handle these situations so you can take back that control of your life? So let's get started. We're going to get straight into the seven signs or the seven red flags, should I say, that uh, probably tell you you're being manipulated. And the first one is you feel guilty all the time. Yeah, so that's constant guilt. If you're always feeling guilty, even when you haven't actually done anything wrong, it's a red flag. You see, manipulators often use guilt as a tool to control you. They might constantly make you feel responsible for their happiness or well-being. Imagine someone saying, if you really loved me, you'd do this for me. Now that is planting a seed of guilt that then forces you to question your actions, even if they're perfectly aligned with your own needs. Imagine it like you're carrying a heavy backpack which is filled with stones everywhere you go. Over time, this constant weight can wear you down, right? So recognize when guilt is being unfairly placed on you and take steps to lighten that load. Point number two, you feel like you're being judged all the time. So if you constantly feel like you're under scrutiny or that nothing you ever do is good enough, this could be a sign of manipulation. You see, manipulators can be masters of non-verbal cues. Yeah, hear me here. Manipulators can be masters of non-verbal cues. So a raised eyebrow, a disapproving sigh, or even a pointed silence can be used to make you feel like you're constantly being judged. Let me explain this using an example. So imagine you've spent hours preparing a presentation at work. After delivering it, Instead of receiving constructive feedback, your boss just gives a subtle sigh and a slight frown. No words are needed here to make you feel like you've fallen short, right? It's like living in a house with transparent walls where you feel everyone is watching you and criticizing your every move. You see this constant feeling of being judged? It can erode your confidence and it can make you doubt your abilities. So remember, you deserve to be in an environment where you feel supported, not judged. Seek out people who provide constructive feedback and encouragement so they can help you grow rather than making you feel inadequate. Point number three, you doubt your decisions. Do you ever find yourself questioning your own choices after interacting with someone? This is another sneaky tactic that's used by manipulators. If you frequently second guess yourself or seek validation for even the smallest choices, do you know what? Someone might be manipulating you. Think of it as you're trying to walk on a path covered in fog, unsure and hesitant with every step you take. Manipulators might plant seeds of doubt by subtly criticizing your decisions or making you feel like you're not capable. It's like having a tiny voice in your head whispering, are you sure you can handle that? Even when you know deep down you absolutely can. So what do you do about it? Well, firstly, trust in your own judgment and don't let someone else's influence cloud your confidence. Let's swiftly move on now to point number four. How do you know if you're being manipulated? Well, if you have low self-esteem. You see, low self-esteem is another key indicator. Manipulators often aim to erode your confidence, to keep you dependent on them. Um, imagine a beautiful confident sunflower slowly wilting under the shade of a domineering tree. If you find yourself feeling small or unimportant around someone, it might be a sign that they're manipulating your self-perception to their advantage. Um, let's understand this better using an example. So let's say you've always been proud of your cooking skills. Now one day you prepare meal for a friend who constantly criticizes everything you do. 
instead of appreciating your effort they make a dismissive comment perhaps like um, it's okay but it's not as good as what others can make or what you know your other friend can make over time you see such comments can chip away at your confidence making you feel like your skills are inadequate so the best way to deal with this situation is work on building your self-esteem by acknowledging your strengths and achievements. Celebrate your successes, no matter how small, and most importantly, surround yourself with people who uplift and support you. Remember, your worth is not determined by somebody else's opinion of you. Point number five, constant comparison to others. You see, if someone frequently compares you to others to make you feel inadequate, they're likely manipulating you. It's like being in a race where the finish line just keeps moving further away. For example, imagine you're proud of a project you've just completed at work. Now, instead of acknowledging your hard work, your manager says, well, you know, Sarah finished hers faster and it was much more detailed. This constant comparison can make you feel like no matter how hard you try, you'll just never be good enough. Remember, your journey is unique and you don't need to measure up to anyone else's standards. Focus on your own progress and achievements. Embrace your individuality and the unique strengths you bring to the table. Moving on to point number six, and that is exploiting your insecurities. Let's be honest, we all have insecurities. Well, who doesn't, right? but a manipulator might exploit these to get what they want. You see, they know where you're vulnerable and use that knowledge to control you. Think of it like someone picking at a scab, preventing it from healing. Yeah, that's kind of what a manipulator would do. For example, let's say you're self-conscious about your public speaking skills. Now, a manipulative colleague might constantly bring up how nervous you get before you're doing a presentation, saying things like, um, are you sure you're up for this? Now remember how shaky you were last time? By doing this, they keep you doubting yourself and they might even push you to let them take over tasks that should be yours and therefore also take the glory that should be yours. So be aware of this tactic and protect your insecurities by acknowledging and working on them. So coming back to our example, let's say if public speaking is uh, your weakness, consider joining a group to build up your confidence. There's various practice groups that where you can practice your public speaking, right? Now, strengthening your weak spot makes it harder for a manipulator to exploit them. Which brings us to our last point. Point number seven, you feel they love or appreciate you. And this is an interesting one. You see, healthy relationships are built on mutual respect and appreciation. But a manipulator might dangle their love or approval like a carrot on a stick. They might only be kind or affectionate when you do what they want you to do, creating a confusing dynamic where their love feels very much conditional. It's like you know, receiving drops of water in a desert, just enough to keep you going, but never enough to keep you truly satisfied, right? Genuine love and appreciation should make you feel uplifted, not uncertain. Let's wrap this up. Recognizing manipulation is the first step to breaking free from it. Remember, you're worthy of respect and healthy relationships. If you're noticing these signs of manipulation, it's important to set boundaries and prioritize your own well-being. Don't be afraid to distance yourself from those who try to control you. Never let anyone manipulate you. And hopefully this video has given you some good pointers on how to avoid that. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you did find it helpful, please like, share and subscribe for more insights. Remember, you have the power to take control of your life. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care.